I oppose. I'm not going to marry someone like you. What are you doing, Marianne? The wedding has to go on. Dad, how could you marry your only daughter to a stranger? And this lazy guy, too. What's your words? Show me some respect. You know perfectly well that you have to marry this man. You picked the dirtiest and ugliest guy in the whole city, right? Look at him. He's a good-for-nothing slacker. Of course I'm not going to marry him. That's enough. Show more respect and be careful with what you say. You have no choice. You marry this man, or I won't include you in my will. It's your choice. And when is that going to happen? When I die. What? That's not fair, Dad. There's no discussion. Well, I hope you die soon. And you can continue with the wedding. I agree to marry this disgusting man. But don't even think about kissing the bride. What the hell is this place? What's happening? My dad paid you, right? It can't be possible that <clears throat> we're married. No. I like you, and I agreed. Ugh, this can't be. Just what I needed. Now I'm stuck with a nobody. I'm sure you don't even have a house. Yes, I do. If you want, we can go there. No way. I'm not going to your dump. I'd rather stay in a hotel. I just have to make a transaction and that's it. Uh. Ew, it's full of bugs here. What happened? He blocked all my accounts. What's wrong with him? Well, are you coming with me or staying here? Yeah, well, I guess I have no choice. You tell me, do you have another option? No. Can we go now? Follow me. I can't believe I got on a bus in a wedding dress. Nobody noticed. A kid called me crazy. Oh yeah, very nice. My feet are already hurting. Where the hell are we? There's no house here. Yes, there is. It's just that my house isn't a regular house. It's the RV over there in the back. This must be a damn joke, right? A whole dream, huh? Well, I'll be waiting inside if you want. I'm gonna take a shower. It was more like a nightmare. Turns out, he wasn't a filthy bum after all. And his home was actually cozy. What are you, cozy. What are you wearing? Well, what do you mean, what am I wearing? It's all I had. By the way, this place is really clean and tidy. Why weren't you clean? Mm -hmm. I'm a garbage collector. It's a demanding job, and I usually don't have much free time. And when I do, honestly, I prefer to rest. I understand. Well, now that we're spouses, I guess you'll have to work more to support me. Yeah, 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 you're right. I'll work more. Well, all right then, go to work. Hey, my love. I'm back. Mm, don't call me my love jerk. D Sorry, I'm just not used to all this yet. You can call me whatever you want. Don't you have yes. anything for me? I brought you what you asked for. $500? Is this a joke? This won't even get me a decent hotel room. Good lord, you're worse than a bum from what I can see. You're hopeless, Marion. Your heart is dirtier than my clothes. He didn't speak to me again, and I felt really bad when he left. But I couldn't let something like that happen to me, so I decided to seek help. Look who it is! Maria Lopez, the wife of a garbage collector. <laughs> How ridiculous! Seriously? Stop making fun of me! 
You really like your outfit, huh? You still haven't taken it off. Uh, of course not. My dad played a really tasteless joke on me. He's got me living with that garbage collector in a trailer in the middle of nowhere. Oh, poor Marianne. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter now. I need your help. I was just looking for you. I want to see if you can lend me $50,000. It's just for me to stay in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You, dear, you are the wife of a garbage collector, a bomb, and you have the nerve to ask us for money. $50,000 mean nothing to us, but for you, it's like three years of minimum wage. <laughs> Now, Dad, if I tell you that the man you forced me to marry mistreated and humiliated me, I don't think you'll leave your daughter helpless. I can't believe my dad abandoned me and never told me he went bankrupt. Now what the hell am I going to do? I'm alone. I can't go back to Isaiah's because he probably doesn't even want to talk to me. I didn't treat him well at all. Well, I guess I don't have any other choice. Hey. I know I shouldn't come back. I'm really sorry. I was stupid with you. And now I realize that nobody actually likes me without my father's millions. And now I understand that I'm the loser, not you. I don't expect you to welcome me with open arms or anything like that. I just want to apologize. That's all. All that can change. By working and earning money for yourself. Come on, get up. What? Are you just going to stand there staring at me? How do you feel? I don't know. Finding out about my father's situation that way, it was really a hard blow for me. But how did you meet him? And why does he trust you so much? Since I was a kid, I've been collecting garbage and doing odd jobs like that. I'm an orphan. One day, I found your dad walking down the street. He dropped his wallet, and I just returned it to him. Why didn't you keep the wallet if you needed money? Because money doesn't buy education. And just because I didn't have it, doesn't mean I had to go around taking money from others on the street. Your dad realized that I was an honest and decent person. And he's been supporting me ever since. I can't believe it. I thought my dad didn't care about other people. He was always a strict person. N no. Your dad is the kindest man I've ever known in my life. He's always helped me with countless things. You know, maybe you don't remember me. But I often saw you going here and there, demanding and asking for the best. Since my mom died, I took refuge in material things. And my dad always tried to give me everything, except what really mattered. Yeah. Your father told me that after your mom's incident, he didn't know how to raise you. And unintentionally, he turned you into a spoiled girl. I was there many times. Sometimes cleaning the garden, washing cars, running errands for your dad. 
I remember a very hard-working boy. Hmm? I thought you had never seen me. I have vague memories. The only thing I don't understand is why you didn't choose a cleaner job. All jobs are worthy of respect. It's more shameful to get ahead at the expense of others instead of seeking to succeed on your own and take care of your own life. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, not yeah, talking I about you. I'm talking about... I understand. I've always... always relied on everything my dad gives me. And I've never known how to earn things for myself. But I want to change. I want to get a job. Can you help me? I want to support my father now that he needs it. Do you really want to help your dad? Yes, of course. You can. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm doing the best I can. Well, then you'll have to learn for... for your new job. Seriously? Did you get me a job? I think so. It's a small restaurant nearby. Perfect! What am I going to do? This wasn't what I expected. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, yuck. My manicure. Uh. Okay, Marion. Calm down. You can handle this. A job can't overpower you. Well, I just have to do what I have to do. How do I do it? Perfect. I'm done. My first paycheck. Finally. Well, I think I know what I have to do now. I have to find my father. Tired? A little. It was a tough day, but I got paid. And what are you going to do? Buy clothes? Makeup? Shoes? I don't think so. I'm going to give it to my dad. Why would you do that? Well, I finally understood all the effort my dad put into giving me everything. And I think it's time to give it back to him. Look, I have something to tell you. I know where your dad is, but... I don't know. I don't know if you're ready to see him. Seriously? Of course I'm ready. Can you take me there? For a moment, I thought my dad was hiding in some fancy place from his creditors, but I was surprised when Isaiah took me straight to a clinic. Dad? 
What's going on? Why are you here? Marianne, what are you doing here? I told this Aeas not to tell you anything. I didn't want you to see me like this. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? And that you didn't have money anymore? I could have helped you. Daughter, I didn't want you to see your father fail. Or rather, fall ill. I didn't want you to see me in this state. I had to find someone to take care of you. Isaiah. He has always cared about me. By the way, he didn't come in. I, I don't know why. But well, Dad, I'm here to apologize. I know I said I wanted you to die soon, but no, it's not true. It's not true. I want you to live a long time with me. Daughter, Marianne, I forgive you, my girl. But I uh, think I'll disappoint you in terms of lasting many more years. What are you talking about, Dad? I... I can work a lot to pay for this hospital if necessary. Don't worry, your husband will pay for everything. My husband will pay for everything. That's right, Marion. What? What the hell? Why are you wearing a gown? Look, your dad came to me asking for help. I saw him in desperate need, so I agreed, but... I didn't want you to see me as the successful doctor that I am. So you've been lying to me all this time? No, no, not at all. Everything I told you is true. I've worked for many years and put in a lot of effort. Your dad always helped me. Thanks to him, I'm... I'm a doctor now. Marianne, my daughter, I knew there wasn't a better man than his ideas to take care of you. Teach you how to live without money. I was a millionaire, but I didn't have the most valuable thing. Your love, your support. Really forgive me, Dad. And thank you so much. You're an exceptional man. No, you don't have to thank me. Your father has always helped me and, well, it was the least I could do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more patients to attend to. Wait. Thank you so much for everything. Seriously, you don't have to thank me. I did it gladly. Your no, father... I'm not talking about my father. I'm talking about me. You made a part of me change my way of thinking, of taking care of myself. I discovered all that I am capable of doing. And what I mean is that... I... I'm so very proud of the person you are, the great doctor you are, and despite everything, the support you gave us. Marianne, what's got you so emotional? I don't know, Dad. I wanted to tell Isaiah everything I feel for him, but... But I'm afraid he'll reject me because he still thinks I'm a spoiled and interested little girl. No, daughter, the opposite. He thinks you're a strong and independent woman, and that's what has him more in love with you. But he's afraid you won't accept him. Really? That's right, daughter. Last week he came to talk to me about all the things you do. And that had him very, very excited. In fact, he mentioned wanting to win you over as a garbage collector so that you'd love him for where he is and not his profession. Dad, I, I'm willing to live in that trailer. Really, I would be very happy. What are you waiting for, daughter? Go and tell him everything you feel. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I... I wait, wait, do you, do you want, want to say, say something? something? You first, No, 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 you. You, you. <laughs> we sound like crazy people talking. I want... I want to tell you that... I appreciate everything you did for me. And... I would like to live in that trailer by your side. I'm very happy, and I want to help by paying for my father's hotel expenses and support you in every way. Are you sure? That would be very hard for someone like you. Just kidding. I see how you've become a hardworking and strong woman. Thanks to you.
Marianne, I'm really sorry. Are you... Are, are you happy living with me? Of course I am. Thanks to you, I can be close to my dad, because I got that job. That I still don't understand how I ended up there without even talking to the owner. Well, maybe you convinced him with your hard work while washing dishes. Or with that kiss that made him more interested in you. Wait, are you... What I mean is that you deserved it. Tell me the truth. There's one more secret. I am the owner of the hospital. I have a luxurious house. I have a luxurious life and a lot of success. The Marian from before would have loved that. But I wanted you to fall in love with me for who I am, for what I am, for what's inside. Not for what I have. The Marion from before doesn't exist anymore. And now I'm going to keep striving to match the hospital owner. <laughs> <laughs> because I learned that the truly important things can't be bought with money. Unfortunately, it was impossible to cure my father. But during his last days, I gave him everything he could dream of. Something that not all the money in the world can buy. And something I was missing too. Love, companionship, a father-daughter relationship, Isaiah and me.